Hey you guys, how are you? Thank you for coming back to the channel. I really am glad that you guys are enjoying this channel and uh, making more content. And I really want you guys to learn from my experiences with the narcissist and to protect yourselves and to be educated on the topic of, of narcissism. Um, again, this, this, this happens uh, silently a lot of times and behind closed doors, uh, at least it did to me. And when it does, you're really taken aback. You're not sure what's happening and your head is spinning. You're isolated. You don't know who to talk to. And, and above all, you're just, you're questioning yourself. You're thinking, wow, did that just happen? Did, did that person just say that to me? Is that really what happened? And you really don't know where to turn. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a remarkable, remarkable situation to be in. Uh, one that I was never prepared for in all my years on the planet. I did not even know that this term narcissist existed to the level that it does. More importantly, uh, you know, we use the word narcissist or narcissism and a lot of people just don't even know what the meaning is. They're just like, oh, okay, you have narcissistic tendencies or whatever. These people, they have so much to learn um, and uh, take it from me, a narcissistic abuse survivor, uh, I can elaborate on so many details about what it's like to be abused and to be in a narcissistic relationship and to not know where to turn. You know, one way you could look at it, and I'm being a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, rough on this one, but you could, you could look at it like you're being held captive in your own house. The more I think about it, that, that's kind of how I felt. Uh, it's, this is just hitting me right now. But so for during my six-year marriage, the, you know, the first year and a half was great and everything, and I don't need to go through all those details. But looking back, I really was not comfortable in my own house. I was walking on eggshells, trying to please the narcissist, which was my wife, never knowing what kind of mood she would be in when she came home, never knowing if things were done properly or if they weren't or what could set her off, or maybe she would come home in a great mood and three hours later something else would trigger and, and it would be a disaster. Um, I tried my best, and I'm sure you guys are too, in your relationships. The, the, the whole point of this channel is to educate you and look for the signs of, of what you may be dealing with. By no means am I saying that everybody is a narcissist or they, that their significant other is to the level of my wife being, of being a narcissist. I'm not saying that. I'm just trying to educate you that if a couple, a couple things. One, if something doesn't quite feel right in your relationship, you know, meaning you're being manipulated or you're, you're being told that uh, things didn't happen, like denial, gaslighting, uh, things like that, th there's a very good chance that, that something is wrong because a relationship is supposed to be 50-50 and give and take and be listening to each other and helping each other grow and, and more importantly, growing together. Um, another thing is when you are in a narcissistic relationship, Again, it's kind of like being, I, I'm kind of attributing this to being kidnapped in your own house and being held ransom, not held ransom, just being held hostage because you don't know who to talk to. It's not like, like when you're, when you go through narcissistic rage and, and you're being gaslit and you're being, uh, you're being questioned or isolated or not talked to, all these, all these things that the narcissist does, it's not like you can walk up to your, your neighbor's house or talk to, call someone on the phone and say, Oh, hey, you know, my wife isn't talking to me for, for two weeks because I didn't do the dishes or, or something like that. Because they're, they're just going to laugh at you. They're going to be like, well, what are you talking about? What's the problem? Just work it out. And that's where the rub is. Because most people don't understand how extremely difficult it is to make progress in these relationships. Because when you're being stonewalled and isolated and trauma bonded and all these terms, you don't know which side is up or down. You don't know if you're coming or going. You really, sincerely, this is not a normal, healthy relationship. Normal, isn't, it's not even close to normal. And things turn so quickly for you. Like, again, in the love bombing stage or in the beginning when you first meet the significant other, things may be great. As most times, most cases they are when you meet somebody. But over time, you realize that, was, that things change and they change quickly. Especially after you have the first argument 
once you have the first argument with the narcissist, there's no going back because they look at you as if you're, and you're, as if you're not perfect, you're not the person they thought you were, and that's when the uh, discard begins and they, they slowly get away from you and they slowly not start to not respect you, listen to you, acknowledge you. They, they do so many things. But what, what I'm trying to explain with this video, and I'm almost done with it, is that if you feel that something's not right in your relationship, and, and again, your instincts are telling you, wow, normal people don't treat people this way. What, what is happening here? Well, you could be in a narcissistic relationship. I mean, it could be other things too. However, with my six year crash course on narcissism, don't, I don't put anything past anybody anymore, unfortunately. Um, we don't live in a Disney movie, we live in the real world where people take advantage of other people. And the narcissist is capable of empathy and love and kindness and compassion. They choose not to use any of these things. They choose to just literally seek and conquer, divide and conquer, destroy people's lives and just discard and act like you weren't even a part of their relationship. So I just want to let you guys know, be, pay attention, look for the signs, check out my other videos. Um, I'm going to do another one later this afternoon. Um, hang in there, do your best, but educate yourselves. That's the number one thing I can tell you. Educate yourselves and learn everything you possibly can about this topic because, wow, it's not fun to go through and it's actually quite frightening, especially when you have kids involved, which I do. I have two kids involved. All right, uh, guys, have a great day. Remember, you're not alone. Check in later for more videos, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.